Okay, this is Space Nerds in Space, and uh, lately I've been playing around with adding um, a warp gate into the system. A uh, warp gate, um, in this particular case, is... So the way the game normally works, you have a server process that simulates the universe, and then you have a client process, or many of them, uh, which you use to fly through the simulation. Um, a warp gate is a way to allow you to fly from one server to another. And so here is a warp gate that I'm going to fly through. Now, I haven't bought a ticket, so it's not going to work. But uh, we'll see what the warp gate looks like anyway. So... That's what happens when you fly through the warp gate without a ticket. So to get a ticket, uh, I just have to hail my friendly starbase and buy one. So we will pick one of these guys. Uh, I'm going to pick Polaris. I'm going to pick Altair. So warp gate ticket to Altair has been booked. Now we can fly through the warp gate again. Notice we have this big Jupiter-like planet here and that green planet over there. Between, just beyond the warp gate. That's... Proximity of our highs at your own area. Now... We have entered a different universe. Looks shockingly similar, but rest assured it is a different universe. So that is, it's sort of proof of concept. I mean, I still have some things to do. For example, um, if you load up your cargo bay and have various status of the ship and then when you transfer to a new universe all of that state does not yet get transferred um, but I am talking to a different server process and it could be running on a different host and all that that part all works as far as I as far as I know I haven't checked this in yet because it's still kind of messy but um let's see anyway that's uh, sort of what I've been working on lately <laughs>